Different countries, different clinics, different patients, but the same story. When the poorest get sick, the help they need is not always there. Many countries struggle to give hospitals the staff, medicine and machinery they need. And even when they do, many people still can't afford to pay for treatment. So the group known as the Elders is lobbying governments around the world to do more. Here in Tanzania, they say what's written down on paper is not always being put into practice. They have policies, they have strategies, they have plans, but they need to be much more proactive in implementation, taking those plans and uh, strategies to where people live and work. That could mean more investment. Tanzania has about 30 doctors for every million people, less than other African countries. And they're disproportionately based here in the biggest city, meaning people in rural areas can live a long way from expert medical help. And that can have fatal consequences. The elders are urging higher spending on health as a proportion of GDP, the country's total output. At the moment, the level of funding of Tanzania, which is, they say, 10%, uh, is still well below the Abuja 15%. And Tanzania is moving to be a middle-income country. That responsibility is that it must allocate uh, more of its budget for health in order to achieve universal health coverage. In Tanzania, there are LGBT people. They say every citizen has the right to health care, including gay and lesbian people. In Tanzania, where homosexuality is illegal, the government has recently ended specialist HIV services for gay men. Well, universal health care doesn't discriminate. It says everyone. So in that context, of course, there has to be uh, a rethinking from the part of government of how to cover them as well. The elders were brought together by Nelson Mandela to speak truth to power. They say Tanzania is making good progress in improving its hospitals and clinics. But around the world, this is not just a political argument, it's a matter of life and death. Lucy Taylor, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.